Talpro provides a connection between time slips and QuickBooks databases. The connection eliminates double entry of data by synchronizing names and time slips in QuickBooks, updating QuickBooks with transactions data from time slips, and allowing you to create slips based on QuickBooks transactions. Before you can use the connection between the time slips and QuickBooks databases, you must set up Talpro. This training video walks you through the steps to set up Talpro with QuickBooks. First, you must start QuickBooks to change some settings there. If you are currently using QuickBooks in single user mode, you must switch to multi user mode. This allows time slips and QuickBooks to access the database at the same time. Before linking the databases, you should set up your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. These are the accounts that Talpro can update from time slips transactions. In this example, we have already set up some sample accounts for Talpro. Please contact your accountant to determine which accounts your firm should use. Because Talpro can synchronize names, you may also want to review your list of QuickBooks customers before linking the databases. After setting up and reviewing data in QuickBooks, start time slips. There are several options that we must set up there. Time slips will indicate that Talpro is not set up when you open the database. Click OK. Select Setup, Sage Time Slips Accounting Link Pro, and Settings. Let's browse to a QuickBooks database. In this example, we will be using a sample database. Once you have located your QuickBooks database, click the Connect QuickBooks button. Talpro will attempt to connect to QuickBooks. Switch over to QuickBooks to accept the connection from Talpro. You have a few options for how Talpro can connect to QuickBooks. In this example, we will allow Talpro to access QuickBooks even when QuickBooks is closed. You can have Talpro post data to QuickBooks automatically. Otherwise, you will need to remember to print a GL transfer register report to post to QuickBooks. Specific accounts lets you separate charges, for example for each timekeeper. Check with your accountant to verify your posting settings. This video will not post to specific accounts. If your general journal already has entries, you may need to specify which number to use for the first entry from time slips. You can also indicate what descriptions to use for journal entries. The Synchronize tab contains settings that control how Talpro synchronizes names. Use the data to synchronize settings to indicate which names to synchronize. In this example, we will only sync time slips clients with QuickBooks customers. Use the When to Synchronize Data settings to indicate when Talpro will start the process. In this example, we will keep the default settings. Talpro will update QuickBooks names when you edit time slips names. New names to time slips, Talpro will prompt you before adding them to QuickBooks. When you print bills, Talpro will first sync names to ensure you are using up to date information. Click OK to accept Talpro settings. After setting up the link between time slips and QuickBooks, you should synchronize names. The synchronize process will prompt you when it finds names that are not yet linked. Talpro will select the closest match automatically, and then you can choose which information to copy for the initial link, and then click Match. If you are not able to find a match for an unlinked name, you can add the name or ignore it. When Talpro is finished synchronizing names, you can view the log file for details. After setting up the link between time slips and QuickBooks, you should also link the QuickBooks accounts that will receive time slips transactions. Use this dialog box to link QuickBooks accounts to time slips categories. In this example, we will only link accounts to required account categories. 
Please check with your accountant to make sure which accounts you should link to TimeSub's categories. Now that TalPro is set up, you could print bills to transfer transaction information to QuickBooks.